All right, welcome back to another My Mom's Basement Quick Hitter with Robbie and Clem. Today we are talking about the new Marvel trailers. We've got two of them, two in a week, which is pretty awesome. It's it's one of these times where things are heating up in both universes. And in the MCU, we've got Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer, as well as a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special trailer. What a fucking like nerd city right now, Bob. We I didn't expect I didn't know if we were if we were gonna even cover anything outside. We we knew we were gonna do Werewolf by Night and we were gonna do the Black Adam reviews, which will be out later. Um, but between this and then the James Gunn news, which will, which is on the My Mom's Basin channel, it's fucking nerd nerdgasms left and right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and two good trailers, I have to say, two yeah, trailers really that got me excited for things that I was or, already very excited about. Let's start with Ant-Man because it's the bigger trailer. It's kind of the kickoff of the Kang dynasty in a, in a big way. It's Kang! It's Kang! <laughs> it it's is Kang. Kang. We got fucking Kang. Guys, you're going to hear that a lot from me. If you don't like it, just telling you now, I'm going to be saying it's Kang in the voice of JR for he a looks very long great time. great, too. In, in, the, in the trailer, awesome. he looks amazing. In the poster, I didn't love his look, to be honest. Like It wasn't his fault. The poster they put out, I love the concept of on paper and everything i tweeted it, it kind of looks fan made to me though yes like it, it it has a weird filter over i don't know what it was it looks like they just took a picture of jonathan majors from a red carpet and like <laughs> did a boss logic thing i don't know uh the trailer itself though amazing and he looks he looks great in the suit without the helmet on he looks great with the helmet on the narration that starts it it's like scott lang talking about you know ever since i've been whatever do you think this is from his podcast Yes, I'm hoping. Again, yeah, I, I love be, all, right? I love all this shit that makes the MCU seem like it's a little more like our world, which would be very much uh, you know, podcasting. AJ uh <laughs> AJ said, uh, am I on your podcast today? Like he the word podcast is in his vernacular. So if four-year-olds who have never listened to a podcast are saying it, I want people in the MCU to say it. So that's I hope so it's funny. A <laughs> my nephew, who's eight years old, recently said to his dad, my brother, uh, Mike Fox, who's been on the podcast before. He said, well, when am I going to do a podcast with Uncle Rob? And he was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> and he was, like, he was like, we'll probably do one about Super Mario. He's like, I know a lot about that. I, I don't know if I said it to you. I think I said it on Podfathers. I kind of think, like, that's the future. Like, my kids, if you, my kids, the stuff they watch on YouTube, they watch people narrating over games. And I'm sure there's, like, podcasty things. If if you take your nephew, I take Sienna, <laughs> who, who all she wants to do is be a YouTube star or a podcaster. Let's like we already have the media company here. Let's just exp like exploit exploit the shit out of them, but make millions. Bob, it's gonna I'm be like YouTube millions. YouTube views. Coco Melon number one. My mom's <laughs> basement junior number two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like is it the grandma? Is it the grandmother's basement at this or is point? Because there's the next like, generation. Or is it like mommy's basement? Like we <laughs> yeah, make it like baby talk. <laughs> yes, mom, mommy's basement. All mommy right, and daddy's basement. <laughs> We're gonna put a in that. That is a winner right there. Yeah, trademark. Nobody could steal that. <laughs> yeah, don't steal that from you. Uh, the dude from I Think You Should Leave, it calls uh, him Spider-Man, the old guy, which I thought was <laughs> such a funny cameo. It made me gasp. And then we kind of get into like the story of the movie is going to be Cassie Lang, Scott Lang's daughter, sends a signal down to the quantum realm with a satellite. And as soon as she does that, everyone in the room's like, are you fucking crazy? After everything we went through, you're sending signals down? Turn that off. They get sucked in. I love the look of the quantum realm. I love... The, the people that come out that all look different. They all look like they're a different alien race. They're all wearing different clothing. I love the clothing that they have to put on to blend in. It's kind of Mad Max-esque. Yep. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer has a line where she says, there's something I never told you. Interesting. A little mystery in here. We get Kang. As you said, it's fucking Kang. It's Kang! We get Bill Murray who was rumored to be in this movie, now confirmed, fucking Bill Murray. Like, right after Kang, it was like, we got Kang and we got Bill Murray. Come to the theaters. And uh, I already hate the bug scene. I wrote that down. Did you <laughs> notice that, that little creepy crawler? Yep, yep. I, uh, I had no idea Bill Murray was even rumored to be in it. Uh, it might have come. My brain is so fucked from the last few years. Like, I might have heard that. Might have went one year out the other. I'm, I also, like, there is a very much a very big pushback on Bill Murray now. It's like, oh, he there is. is. People knew Bill Murray was an asshole in like the 80s. Like, I, I don't know, think that's yeah. a new secret, but it did. I always, I think part of my take was very big on this a few years ago, and I was with him 100%. The Bill Murray love got a little excited. It's like, oh, look at him. He's just golfing right now. It's like, he loves baseball. Doesn't yeah. love the Cubs. Like, <laughs> all right, he's fucking, yeah, he's yeah. Bill Murray. 
he has some cool fucking stories and he does cool shit. He's loaded. He's a funny dude. He's also kind of a prick. It's, my guy, Harold Ramis, I'll never forgive him. Like I know they had a falling out with Groundhog Day. I'm a big Egon guy. So Harold yeah. Ramis was my dude. Um, but I, again, Bill Murray in the MCU feels like another win for the MCU here. Yeah. Uh, Chronopolis, as someone that has played that Lego, I think it's Lego Marvel Lego 2. Um, the whole Chronopolis, Kingopolis thing looks very cool. And that's just like the whole city. It's fucking, you know, you're adding this with uh, everything you see with the TVA. And yep. again, I'm swimming in this. We're going to need Jose. Big yes. time. Yes. Big time for this fucking trip. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to go around to the quantum realm with him. I, I bet the, and I'm sure people are like screaming at their monitors right now, like you idiots. Why are you trying to break this out without the hose, the help of Jose? Yeah. Like, I don't know. We're just <laughs> going in blind. We're the kids that like someone left the door open and we're just wandering in blindly. We don't know what we're doing, but it looked fucking cool. And I think you're going to probably touch on it. A lot of talks, a lot of uh, pictures and, and videos of rings, a lot of rings going around here. Yes. And we're, we're, talking about rumors that possibly Kang needs Shang-Chi's 10 rings and Miss Marvel's bangle for his like time chair. I think that's what they're calling the time chair. Yeah. The time chair. Yeah. So so he may, we did see a lot of rings in this. He may need these like ancient artifacts that have to do with time and other multiverses as well, which is heavily rumored. I I think that is very likely based on the the post-credit scene of Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, sorry. I said Shen. I always say Shang-Chi. Oh, don't get um, canceled, Bob. Don't get canceled for making a long post-credit A. Post-credit scene of Shang-Chi <laughs> and just the Miss Marvel series in general. It seemed like there was more to that bangle that we haven't discovered yet. Is it Shang-Chi where they talk about like it sent out a beacon or something yep. like that? So, yeah, that's, that's and a it's fucking like, problem. In the comics, I think the space dragons are involved. And there's rumors that dragons are going to get way more involved in the MCU, possibly to do with you know House of the Dragon success. I don't know. We're fucking dragon guys now. Like that's big the other thing about guys. us. We're big dragon guys. There's no fucking podcast more built to handle this. What's coming up with Kang than these two dragon boys right here? Do we have to start dressing up now? I, I might dress up. I should have dressed up as Kang for this fucking episode. God Hold damn. on, I got a dragon still. <laughs> I oh, put it away. Yet. I think I think I do too. Let me see. Up oh, here we go. Look at this. This is why you guys watch on the YouTube. You see everything come together. Boom. To fruition. Look at that. <laughs> We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> Fizz dragons. Now we're fucking. You didn't expect a dress up podcast with uh, stars, and we're good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't expect cosplay on this one, but we brought it out for the quick hitter. And oh, uh, I got so sad when I put my George R. R. Martin outfit away. I'm like, I'm not gonna be wearing this for two fucking years, man. That is some bullshit. I know. I, I'm looking at my wig right now. Like, I'm, am I gonna move like apartments in that time? And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm taking the wig with me. Like, I'm gonna need this one day. Like. Yeah, crazy amount of uh, costumes we bought. Well, look at Kevin. He he threw his dreads away, and then he needed him next week. Yeah, it's crazy. It's great. <laughs> so it's it's so in three years, or so House of Dragon comes back in twenty four. By mm-hmm. that point, Kang will not. He'll be like a household name. Like our parents yeah. will like know Kang. Like there's gonna be a lot of shit that's going on with Kang. He's gonna be very much, but he's gonna be. He'll probably be full blown Thanos at this point. Like. Everyone knows him. He's fucking shit up. He's a, a goddamn problem. I'm also putting it out there now. I've had a few people who have asked me about it. I'm going to be a Kang. I, I'm just telling you now I'm going to be a Kang guy. That's of just, course I, you are. I, 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 didn't, I didn't even have to ask you about it. <laughs> and I also think Jonathan Majors being the next Creed villain is going to like help him being a household name and everything. Because the rumors about the next Creed movie are that he's like one of the best Rocky villains ever. Really? Really? Yeah. That's That's high praise right there. Um, just from what we saw from him in in Loki, I loved everything about him. I don't know much about Jonathan Majors going into it, but uh, between all that from Loki and then what we saw just in this trailer, um, and what is what does he say at the end there? What's it going to be, Ant Man? And yeah, and the way he says Ant Man is so fucking like looking down on him. He's like, yeah, Ant Man, like Ant-Man. really fucking Bi- Ant Man. You're coming that's like after bitch me. boy. Like he he Which, probably didn't, do you think he even knew the Ant Man for getting a trilogy? Yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> Never would have expected that. I'll, I'll be honest. I I just watched the YouTubes to catch up on Ant Man because I missed the first one when it happened, and I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, I the little kids. Are like, you two hours. Even seen the movies yet? Still, I still have it. I'm gonna have to see it before this. Watch it. Now this movies. is. Still I was like gonna it. say this is probably the perfect way to introduce Kang too. Is that like the quantum realm is a lot to take in? I think just in general for casual fans, right? You have to think people who've never watched the comics or don't know any of this. Yep. 
are going to. I'm going to take the mask off too. I feel kind of. I was going to say we're about to get into the the Christmas special kind of. Yeah, it can't be a dragon during the Christmas <laughs> special, which I guess we never know with our boy James Gunn. True, um, but. Uh, the quantum realm is a lot to take in getting Kang and all this shit. They're going to have to explain Kang every single movie he's in. And like, you know, uh, multiverses, they do that. Like if you notice the infinity stones, every time the yeah. infinity stones were known, they had to kind of like reintroduce them for people that just got in for the first time. So it's just going to be funny. All this shit that people have to like get the, the fucking cliff notes for. So I am, I'm very excited for that. Uh, and it, I didn't love. We we liked Miss Marvel. It, it had it dropped yeah. off in the middle at the you know had had its moments. It does feel like a little reward when the bangle and then obviously Shang Chi, which we saw. It does feel like a reward when you know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and it's like oh shit, things are connecting again. Like there there was a bit of a like limbo period in the yeah. MCU where it felt like things were once again in that phase one period where it's like we're just gonna build everything independently and then when things connect, you're like oh shit, like everything's coming together now. That is all going to start coming together in this movie, I think. And, like, for the people who've been podcasting through the beginning of this phase, there were, you know, some lean times. There were some times yeah. there was more fat than meat on the bone. It's nice to be getting a little bit more meat. And uh, I think Kang and Jonathan Majors are going to give us all that. And speaking of the Guardians of the Galaxy Ooh, holiday Flame and Yan. Flame and Yan looks awesome. It's another <laughs> one of these Marvel special presentations, which gives you, like, it's like a news intro they put at the front of the trailers and the special presentations pretty much It'll i get like a 70s one. like a 70s saturday yes this is this is gonna date me but like even an 80s hbo saturday night when they were like premiering the new show that was kind of the vibe you got from all that so you it, know it's so I funny you it. say that to bring mama fox into the podcast as we always do we <laughs> would always make fun of her because she thought because we have hbo like every saturday night she'd be like oh my god see what the saturday night movie is maybe we'll watch it tonight I don't think we ever watched the Saturday night. We, we would always check it and be like, no, it's fucking, it's the new like Adam Sandler. Like, like we don't care about it, whatever it was. And she would always be like, oh, what's this? Sat we, maybe we'll watch the Saturday night movie. No, we never watched it. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. Yeah. And Bob, have you ever seen like what the, um, the, like the HBO special presentation was like the sound? Have you ever seen like the intro for all that? I, I don't think so. It wasn't just the normal HBO, what we expect into television shows, right? With the little, oh. Um, can I can I share it on the thing here yeah, real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here. Let me see if I can share this. Hopefully we don't get a. C and D, yeah, true. C and D by HBO. I don't think we will. It doesn't even exist anymore, right? Here, we're adding it. Nobody right. tells HBO what we're doing. Here. Yeah, no one tells HBO. So this is like the little thing here. Oh, I have seen this. It reminds me of the, honestly, it reminds me a little bit of the WCW Nitro intro. That's a good call here. This song goes hard too, man. And this is probably what Mama Fox like remembers. Like this was a big deal back in the day when there was like tw 20 channels. You paid like $4.99 a month, I'm sure, for HBO. And you got a new fucking movie every Saturday night. And the movie probably sucked looking back now. But this was a big deal. Here we go. Hit them. Oh, we're going to space, Bob. Space Dragon's coming Oh, out. nice. I might have to like take some of this music out because yeah. <laughs> we may get seen. It's so fucking hard though. It goes so fucking hard. That is fire. Uh, see, that's, okay, that's what it is. That's it, yeah. Okay, that's exactly what it is. I didn't realize it was a straight up like basically ripoff of it all. So I'm happy we watched I, I, neither that. Neither did I. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy you brought that up because they definitely ripped that off. Okay. Great call. Great Show call. Mama Fox the trailer. She's like, oh, Rob, this is like I was talking about. <laughs> this Saturday is a Saturday night movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> she would actually probably be into this because I have shown her Guardians of the Galaxy before. And that's like one of the few MCU movies that she got down with. She liked the throwback music and she loves the baby Groot. She thinks he's cute. I mean, you can't go wrong with good music. And Although in this one, College Groot, is that what we're calling him? Because he's kind of like jacked. Yeah. But he's yeah. not fully grown yet. I'm going to say high school group. Uh, shout out my guy, large, his son, Finn, his son, Finn's getting big. He's playing football now. And I'm like, my little boy's growing up. And that's kind of what Groot is. And he Finn is. and Groot were, were my, are my two guys. So uh, I will say high school football player Groot. Yeah. He's in the weight room a lot. He's, you know, got varsity a lot of testosterone. Too. Yeah. Varsity. He's in, he's the makings of a varsity. varsity yeah, Groot. I like varsity. Groot. Varsity. Groot. That's perfect. We're running. <laughs> you with can that. see him wearing a varsity jacket. In this what, what letter is on it? Is it G for Groot? G for Gar? 
Guardians? It has to be G, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. So G, <laughs> Varsity Group, good fucking work. We talked that one through. I a love plus, Bobo. Uh, and that's the funny thing. Sienna, she saw it, and I was just on my um my Twitter just happened to be open, and she on my timeline. She goes, "Dad, what's that?" And I was like, "Oh." You don't even know. I was like, Guardians <laughs> is a fucking Christmas special. My wife hit me up. So this is a big deal in the Casa de Club. I'm sure a lot of families out there are going to be getting into it too. And it, like for people that you know didn't have kids for the first one or two Guardians movies, this is probably the perfect way to get your kid into the MCU. It's like a Christmas movie. It should be pretty, um, like, you know, not crazy. I think and it's like 45 minutes too. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so it's, it's an it's easy quick. watch. And it won't be, you know, we don't people getting fucking kidnapped by uh tra- child traffickers like they did in black widow and black well Fox. you might have kevin bacon getting kidnapped so watch your mouth <laughs> goddamn nick hamilton said what if kevin bacon was mephisto and i'm like oh I know. my god we and got I to said a- peter quill can't handle that after gamora after his father's ego his hero can't be the devil <laughs> it's a, that it could get dark the curse special could get dark if like it's Star gotta get happen. Yeah, like, is because it starts devil. because peter's so upset that's like the the kickoff of the whole christmas special is they're saying oh my god star lord's so upset over gamora and everything why don't we bring him back down to earth for christmas which i love the concept of that i did not think in a million years for whatever reason we were going back to earth i thought it was going to be like a star wars holiday special where we're celebrating like life day or something like that uh but no we're going to straight up hollywood and Drax and Mantis are walking around the Sunset Strip. I think that is going to be phenomenal. Those are the perfect two characters to give the fish out of water scenes to. And they go to, I think, kidnap Kevin Bacon for Quill as a Christmas present, which is very funny. It said at the end, introducing Kevin Bacon, which is <laughs> phenomenal. That was uh, James Gunn said when I said I was introducing one of my favorite characters, the favorite character was Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and Cosmo the dog, too. I know people are very, very excited about Cosmo the dog entering the MCU. I personally don't know much about him. That'll be a Jose Young's maybe hop on. Tell us a little bit about Cosmo. <laughs> Jose Young's be like, God, he's going to be the, the Popeye's worker meme. It's Jose's like, going to be like, I know, he's a fucking golden retriever that wears an astronaut suit. That's it, dude. <laughs> Wouldn't it be f- funny if, if Jose, because Jose does he, he sometimes be like, I fucking hate Cosmo. I fucking hate him. Like, <laughs> I think the- Cosmo is also like, could be completely off base. I think Cosmo's voiced by the girl that plays Borat's daughter with Borat too. Really? Yeah. Huh. What? Oh, Jose doesn't like the boys, but he doesn't like the comics. The boys. The boys. He doesn't, yeah, he he's never the seen show. the show. And that that may be so sad, but I if he doesn't like the show, I, Jose might be on the sus list if he doesn't like the show. Also, this is the second time Marvel has dropped like a special presentation trailer that says like it's out in, you know, X amount of weeks. It's this is out in, uh, within a month of today. It's November 25th. It comes out. Werewolf by Night did the same thing. I hope they keep doing that. It's like nice. It's like you don't even know what's coming. And then they're like, hey, we're dropping something Boom. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when Werewolf by Night came out, I was like, oh, that's you're like, no, did you watch it? It's like it comes at Halloween night. No, you're like, no, 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 it's it's out already. So I do. I, I do appreciate the quick releases and that they're kind of giving you a heads up. And it's like you're not getting the up oh, this, you know, this many days until the trailer because this many days until the release. It, they just drop it on your ass. And our boy James Gunn, how fucking perfectly did he just pull this off where he is going to be asked about his his holiday trailer and then be asked about running the rival uh movie studio which i'm sure he'll handle very fine i'm sure they've had to talk about it but man it's all coming up jimmy gunn right now who by the way married an absolute beautiful woman who what's her name in um oh hardcore yeah yeah so uh shout out to him and i like that his brother is going to be in it i I always forget looks like he's a big part of it sean gunn yeah yeah Franklin is that his name uh, yeah i think so yep i I think it's gonna be i think him uh drax and mantis are going to kind of be the main characters here i'm sure they don't want to be playing I, I imagine bradley cooper and uh fucking vin diesel even though it's like his part's easy come on it's easy part but it's like <laughs> to get him in the studio it's one less thing they have to worry about so i feel like they're going to get shy to the other guy he, he he goes i'll come in for you you're my family family <laughs> oh, he's, and now that james gunn is like leaving too this is one of their he knew this is probably one of their last times they'd be doing this because i'm sure yeah. they've negotiated been going on for a while vin's gonna give us some fucking great groups here some great Vin had also the most fire outfit at the infinity war red carpet i don't know if you remember he had a suit with branches coming out of it 
I do not remember and that. It was, it was awesome. I was like, oh, my God, you just won me over for the next 10 years, Finn. Not against The Rock, you know. If, if we're in that war, I'll always go on the side of Dwayne. But that suit, that commitment to the character, I love that. I'm going to pull it up here for the YouTube. Oh, people. yeah, let's put it on the screen. That is fucking sick. <laughs> and the problem with Vin, that rock thing does hurt because I like Leaves Vin Diesel. Out of it. That but, might not even be the one I'm talking about. Really? Endgame. Yeah. I think he did another one that was white. Vin did, did multiple. Look at the white one. See that one on Google? Oh, yeah. And that's a that's younger Infinity Groot War. too. That's a younger Groot he was doing that So he for. he went back to back. <laughs> and it, it, it's just like Groot. He grew as it went along. Oh, man. All right. You got to respect that. Good stuff. I fucking all right. So that's that's it for the new Marvel trailers. Tomorrow, if you come back to the YouTube channel, we're gonna have re reviews for both Black Adam and Werewolf by Night. So check that out. Um, I know people have been asking for them. We saw both of them. We're doing the previews, we're doing the reviews tomorrow. Oh, uh, one quick thing. Trailers so far, trailers you can't really do. This feels like it's gonna be two more wins for Marvel, right? As we do our football oh, analogy. Yeah. Yeah. I think we said eleven and five. Oh, so we did we mention the Ant Man trailer had Elton John in it? Because that was fucking oh, awesome. Oh great music. I actually made I a think note. I about forgot it. to the mention that, but was, I also yeah. made a note. Love the the um Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Is that what the song they used? Yes, and it, yeah. it it made the stakes feel bigger just by when you do <laughs> when you do like a cover or a slow down version of a popular song, totally. you're like, Oh boy, this isn't good. This isn't good. I was yeah. freaking the fuck out now. And it, and it and totally works for the quantum realm, like beyond the yellow brick road. Like yeah. you know, it, it has that ah, ah, ah. it's kind of like a crazy psychedelic thing. It's perfect. Yeah, the time element of it also. Yeah, awesome. Great call. All right. See you tomorrow for Werewolf by Night and Black Adam Refuse.